gorgeous model, great lighting, l uh, loving flair, uh, doing montages. Ooh, okay, damn. But the model here seems to be having too much of a happy time. By Betaloo, ooh, Betaloo. Uh, brilliant, uh, cool, very like proper cool, like this a lot. Is this one person, two people? Uh, uh, kind of disgusting, thinking that's probably living on you. Don't want to meet you. Okay, hi everyone. In this video, we're going to do another uh, Flickr mass photo critique, uh, and we're going to go over them. Um, I don't know which ones I'm going to give my deepest thoughts on, uh, but first of all, somebody's put one with no name on it. Okay, first of all, right, let me just sort this out. Okay, so everyone, on Flickr there's a new page called the Dom Bauer Mass Photo Critique page and you're only allowed to put up one photo a week and I've asked that you put up your absolute best photo that you've taken. Not necessarily within that week, but just the best photo you want to show your skills um, every week and only one photo, so I'm not having people throwing up junk after junk after junk. Um, and one of the first rules, if you go onto the page in discussion, I've put a page where it says, uh, first rule of photo club. And the first rule is you don't talk about photo club. And the second rule is that you must name your photos. Um, if your photo comes up on the critique page and it has no name, it will not be critiqued. Um, and uh, I think that's that was it, pretty much. Um, so let's go into the site and let's go through the photos. And I think I'll do it in a special way, but this one is not getting critiqued, sorry. This one looks badass, this one looks uh, uh, really cool, I like this one. This is Simon Baker's photography. It's almost too much, is, is the only thing I would say, as in it kind of looks like the bottom half is a beautiful, uh, great saturated, great colours uh, kind of thing. I'd like you to be a little bit further back and a little bit lower down uh, is the only thing. And the sky just looks like possibly a nuclear explosion, explosion has gone off in the background. Um, fire clouds, yeah. Okay, you've, you've got that. Epic light at uh, Pizzy, Pizzy Park. Um, and that is some epic light. Um, if you've added more saturation to that, I think you've probably gone a little bit too much. But as it is, I think that looks, it's a striking photo, that is for sure. But I would say composition wise, it'd be better if you were lower down and a little bit further back in the pier. So the pier was really leading off into the sunset. Uh, instead here it just kind of, kind of stops a little bit too soon. Um, okay, Simon, let's see if we can show these in a better way. Okay, so that's a slightly uh, better size where we can see a bit more, and there's something on the side there if you're looking at that. Uh, anyway, so, okay, yeah, it's, uh, Simon, uh, I think it's good to think, logo up the top there, uh, you could probably sell that picture and you could get rid of the logo, I would say. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's dramatic, definitely. Uh, okay, next one, this is Starsky and Hutch, nice car, bit of a strong vignette over the top. Um, I'm sure I've seen this car. Have you taken photos of this car already? I've seen them already. You've got a bit of a shallow depth of field, as you can see the back wheel going on, um, and you've got a, a random bit of, uh, kind of a, uh, what do you call it, a prize in, in the kind of middle of the frame. You have gone for the, almost the tripod look, where you've got the uh, three wheels of the car, but is um. Uh, Lighting on the car is fine. I like the, the brightness coming off. See, if you use a smaller aperture, you'd have more of a star effect coming from the uh, reflection of the sun on the car there. Uh, but the background is really distracting me. You've got kind of a red chair at the back there, and it's randomly advertising a leather goods company. It's not really showing off the car. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not really getting what the location has anything to do with that car. Uh, Pittsburgh Night. Uh, or Pittsburgh, as I as we would call it in, in Scotland. Pittsburgh. Uh, or Pittsburgh. Or oh, whatever. Uh, wonky angle, it seems like. It seems like over to the left is higher than over to the right. Obviously, we've got it leading into us. Um, and you've got a nice bright sky. You've got... I think you haven't done a slow enough shutter speed. If you'd done a slower shutter speed, the water would be more smilk smilky? Milky smooth. I'm going to call it smilky from now on, okay? We want things with smilkiness. 
Uh, that's Milky Smooth, uh, for any of you that don't know. Um, and uh, and again, if you'd had a much smaller aperture, all the little dots there would have more kind of a star effect going on there. Uh, so yeah, just think about that, changing your aperture, having a slower shutter speed, definitely having a tripod for that one. Uh, well done by Zarian. Santiago. Uh, this one is Mr. Kane. That's the name of the boat. Uh, not as instantly obvious that that's a boat. It could be a tank or something. Uh, I've not really seen that it was a boat. Not seeing what this is showing me. If this was like advertising the boat, saying, ah, oh, look how lovely my boat is, I would get it, but it's just like really showing a advert for a kind of disused boat. Doesn't Don't know that one. Uh, dark light, uh, okay, it looks blurry uh, instantly. Uh, you've got kind of a light coming from the side and behind, it seems like, because or is a very strong light just coming right through there, um, which is a shame because these flowers, I would say, you really want to look at the actual yellowy bits there. But is it okay? So it's a twist on the normal idea, like you've got totally black, black background, but what's happened is that there's it's you've got blown out highlights and totally black blacks. Um, so I think with this flower, it looks like a nice flower, I think this would be good if you did a great lighting effect on it where it's just going straight down but you had a totally back black background. And uh, so at the moment there's too many blown out bits there, like you've got the blown out bit there, there, blown out bits on the flowers there as well and there's not really a centre point of focus in the shot. It's just kind of a whole bunch of flowers randomly in the shot with bits blown out and you don't know, you know, is this meant to be showing something else? Uh, ooh, like this one. Uh, like this one. Uh, gorgeous model, great lighting, l oh, loving flare. Oh, you haven't given a name. No, no, no review. Uh, what's oh, is that? Number forty six MG Road. Okay, I'll let you have that. Uh, this is quite kind of a documentary style. This looks like a a rug shop somewhere. Uh, the only thing is, you've got massive curve in the in the. So you've used a wide angle lens, but I'm guessing it's probably like an 18 to 200 millimeter lens or something and that's giving you loads of barrel distortion uh, that I'm seeing in that image so uh, I like it's kind of documentary style seeing it at night uh, with the lights still on and it's totally dark and there's nobody there. there there's a kind of documentary feel to that but um, I instantly notice the kind of curve in the image so just watch out for that or if you've got any kind of software that can straighten that I think that'd be quite good Oh, cute. Uh, what's it? Flo... 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 Flotograph. Flotograph? Uh, maybe she's called Flo. Maybe? I don't know. By Daniel Harrier. Uh, very cute. Loving the bouquet background. Love how there's flower there. And you think, ah, the kid's taking a picture of the flower and is just holding the camera terribly. Uh, like that. That's, that's a very cute kid shot. Uh, that'd be good if it's in a kind of a, a definitely like a, a montage. Like I say, a lot of people, if you're only able to put one photo up, make a montage of it. So you've got three, four, five photos. Put it into Photoshop. Put it into Lightroom, wherever it is, and put one there, 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 there. So we can see the story going on in one image. You know, if you're only allowed to show one image a week, then stick that in. So that'd be quite a cute one of the kid kind of going, "Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that?" And then her face going, "Ah." That'd be, that'd be kind of a cool little look to go for. So yeah, think about doing montages. Uh, okay, cool, nice shot. Um, uh, untitled, no, no name. Ford V8, like it, looks pretty evil. Love the red. Um, the depth of field is very shallow here, so you've really only got the top of the eight bit there in focus and the bottom is out of focus. So I'd probably use a slightly sharper uh, or a, a smaller aperture so that we've got more of it in sharpness. You want to think about the depth of your field, not just having a shallow depth or a, a big long depth. You want to have a, you want to measure your, your depth of field. And here I would want it so it's definitely from the bottom of the V to the top of the V. And uh, and then everything else can be blurry beyond that. But I think you've just got it a little bit so it's too much on just very, very top of that. But I love the colours and I like the angle. Um, the vignetting's a little bit too strong, a little bit too obvious up at the side there, especially with the strong light that we've got coming in. So just, I would say, be careful with how much vignetting. It's something that everyone does at, uh, is they just add vignetting, but unless it's natural, it looks fake, like you're losing contrast in the details. Uh, life and the light that shines in it. Unfortunately, the person that's there, she 
on this screen it's pretty much this is a black and white shot with a grey sky in the background, a black hills behind the woman, and then she I'm guessing it's women, uh, then she is kind of half in the water and then her head has disappeared on the black rock. So you're not really seeing her there. If um I would say if you moved a little bit more to the right so she was out there or if she was ducking down or something, but at the moment she's just part of this black rock in the background. So watch out for your background, especially if you're making it black and white. If this was a colour, yeah, there may have been colour differences uh, that we might have been able to see something there. A wooden path. It is a wooden path. That would be a nice shot in a uh, magazine for wooden path walks in whichever town this is uh, taken in. Uh, it's quite nice. I would say maybe give it a touch of warming up. It looks a little bit on the cold side, especially when the wood is so kind of dried out like that. I would say uh, just a touch of warmth, you know, uh, in the white balance changing. Um, just bring that up and I would say if you had a circular polarizer on this, you'd really get the saturation of the colors coming out of the greens and everything there. So that might be uh, a thing to invest in if you haven't used that already. Uh, nope, no name. Jessica, wow, uh, actually looks like a porcelain doll. Um, okay, cool lighting, Interest, interesting. Has this been photoshopped? Like, does that baby actually have eyes that big and that crystal clear? Um, and skin that smooth? And like, babies are normally covered in just like crap or like milk spots as well. Uh, but yeah, nice shot of a giant head headed baby. Um, cute, okay. Uh, next one, crow's nest. Ooh, okay, damn. It's not totally obvious that there's a bird there. Um, I like what you've done here. It's like you've done an HDR and then you've made it black and white, which I think you have, AJ Hughes. Um, and I like, okay, you've got the bird off to the side there. That's good. And it is a total mess. Uh, that's an interesting location. Uh, and the fact that you've captured a bird in flight there. And you, I'm sure you've done an HDR kind of effect on it, or you've boosted up the li uh, fill light and the darks, and you've got this kind of look. Uh, the only thing is the bird isn't totally obvious. So maybe doing a little bit of localised photoshopping on the bird to like high, heighten up its contrast, its clarity, and its sharpness, just so it really gives it a more three-dimensional uh, shot of it coming out. Also, if you were just a touch lower down, because it, it, it kind of looks like it's still done from a standing person's point of view. Um, so, but yeah, I like, I like that shot. That's a quite spooky shot. I'd love to see kind of more nighttime shots. Nighttime with Flash and that bird. Oh, that'd be so cool. Things I have seen. Ugh, wrinkly eye. Uh, by the Melburnian. Okay. Uh, wow. That is cool. Uh, I love pictures of eyeballs. Um, they're so cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so you have captured that. Perfect, well done. Can't really... I, I would say maybe if your eye was a little bit higher, if you cropped it a little bit lower down, just so... Because it's kind of not in the middle, and it's not in the third. It's kind of just off, and I would say it's just a little bit below halfway. So just maybe a little cropping down, I think would be good. Ooh, E. Now, okay... Uh, Ahana, um, nice lighting, uh, it's a little bit close to the bottom of the chin, uh, or you've cut her off, so I'd say maybe a step back, but her eyes just look black, like, like have you ever seen one of those aliens where their, their eyes suddenly go black? Kind of looks like that, um, so I'm just wondering if having the light in a slightly different position, just so you can see the whites of the eyes, might be less alien-like to, to what I kind of think. Um, also, I think you're just a little bit too close. You've got all this space up for the head up here, but it's really cut just under the chin. Um, so I'd say it's... it's uh, I, I like it, I like it, but I'd like a different composition on that one uh, by Betaloo. Ooh, Betaloo! Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Ooh, like this one. Good work, good work. This one, uh, Scarlet um, by... by Gregory's Blemensky. Um, cool, so you've got the light right behind it, we've got reflections off to the side, we've got uh, so you, we've got double shadows, we've got shadow coming straight towards her from her feet down there, and you've obviously lit her with a fairly decent sized light over to the side here, uh, and that's given her, and you've given her so she's got short lighting on the face, good work, um, and, and it's given her kind of good shadows, modeling shadows, although she is tiny, um, 
to critique this, I'd say there is a bit of crap in the background, which I don't know if it's a different time of year or something when there's just not this guff over here. Because um, this is really about the shot of the person in the location with these interesting things. Um, I kind of find her pose with that outfit at that time of day possibly doesn't quite connect. Because um, that looks like a really flowery, summery dress, but at the shot that this time was taken at, it looks like it's just about to become nighttime. So I'd say if you either had women in more of a nighttime kind of going out outfit, uh, you know, this would be like her just about to go out. But here it's like she's going out and she's just not, well, in my kind of culture, uh, I would say that um, I would want more of a nighttime, more kind of a sexier look. Uh, from the woman, uh, or maybe more of a gown. Like she's got kind of the, the going out shoes, but the top is more like a summery dress. Uh, so, uh, seeing lots of contrast there. Wonky angle, uh, you've gone for a proper Dutch Dutchness there, um, and if it was straightened, I think it would be just as strong if it was straightened. Um, so, yeah, okay. Definitely like to see more of that, more of that, uh, Gregor's. <laughs> cool. TC Morgan Photography, like your logo there, like the colours, like, oh, I just like this one, uh, when llamas attack. Uh, brilliant. Really good. That if, it, if a photo can put a smile on somebody's face, I think, uh, then it's, it's always doing well. I <laughs> yeah, brilliant shot. Uh, great capture. Uh, in terms of uh, photography being a capturing of the moment, I think this is a, a very good one there. Okay, we've done a bit of selective colorizations. We've got the color over there, we've got the black and white over there, we've got the blurry, we've got the sharp, we've got really nothing that's of interest. Uh, the post that gets pa gets passed by. Unfortunately, I couldn't even tell that's a post because you've cropped in so tight on it that it just looks like a bit of concrete with some bars around it. I think you're obviously trying to go for something, but for somebody that doesn't know this post or whatever is important about it, I'm not really seeing it. I think you've done a bit too much Photoshop. Like if there's a person walking past it, or if there's something attached onto this post, or like maybe like one of those, uh, you know how people now uh, get one of those uh, funny Yale locks and they write, I love Kim, and then uh, Kim and Don forever, and then attach it onto these uh, uh, chicken wire fences or whatever kind of fences they are. Uh, so if that was there, then fair enough, but it really is just a post which is there to be passed by. Uh, fair um, something Maritime Museum, cool shot, like the colours, um, like the reflections as well. So this is where if you had a circular polarizer, you probably wouldn't have that strong reflection uh, coming off there, but I think the reflection is what makes that cool. Um, yeah, that's, that looks cool, that'd be good. Yes, I like that, I like that. A lot. Um, nice. Ooh. Ooh, Angel Romeo. Okay, hello. No, Romero. Okay. Bal Bali Choreografico de la Unam. Uh, brilliant. Uh, cool. Very, like, proper cool. Like this a lot. Is this one person, two people? Four people? I have no idea. Uh, this, is, this is a photo which I'm looking at going, that is awesome. Yes! I'm sure there's two people. Must be a person holding somebody up. I don't know. Uh, great use of slow shutter speed, yet you've got sharpness in the face. How did you do this? Right, okay, I like that shot a lot. Uh, looking right up a kid's nose. A day in the sun. Here all over the place, I'm guessing she's on a trampoline or jumping up and down. She kind of looks asleep, but you're seeing right up her nose. Uh, she's even got like crap over her top. Um, that's kind of a summary shot, yeah, 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 that's that's good there, it's not, the highlights aren't blown out, the shadows aren't too black, uh, the sky's nice and blue, she's nice and tanned, a little bit sunburnt on the face maybe, um, yeah, that's a nice shot, ooh, okay, uh, interesting, uh, great dramaticism into the sky where you've obviously, in the black and white you've uh, toned down the blues so they become darker, uh, Communi. Come, come on, I don't know. Uh, an interesting person in an interesting outfit with a funny hat on and a horse in a field. Uh, composition wise, great. I like her there down below. We've got all the sky uh, and angles and everything. Yeah, that looks good. Lovely light. Um, but the model here seems to be having too much of a happy time. 
I think this would be a better shot where maybe if she was taking like two steps in front of the horse and was just looking very oddly into the camera. Just like, hmm, me and my camera with me and my funny hat. Um, so just now, I, I think a different position of the model would really create this image. Instead of an image of a woman interacting with the horse and having a laugh, it would be a woman which has some sort of pose and purpose and uh, in, in control of something, or like control of the horse with her hat, you know, what's going on there? So lots of things that I think that kind of idea could definitely work. And I love the black and white that you've used on that. Good work. Wow. Uh, globular springtail. Uh, okay, this is on your skin. Uh, Mark WJR. And that is one heck of a macro shot you've got there. Amazing. Kind of disgusting thinking that's probably living on you. Don't want to meet you. Uh, shot of a dog. Line... Tongue open, coda. Uh, it's kind of like... This angle just makes me think that the dog is dead. Um, which I think isn't too appealing to me. Really. And the eyes. Kind of scaring me. Ah. Uh, guiding you home. Okay, so we've got a, a shot of... Uh, of, a, of a thing. What do you call it? A lighthouse, that's it. Um, but the totally blown out sky... So if you want to bring dramaticism into it, then I say a bit of HDR, or if you had a like a uh, what do you call those things, indie grad filter, uh, something going on there, or even a circular polarizer might bring some more uh, more detail into this guy. But at the same time, this becomes a bit like one of those uh, photos from the oh, was it is it the Dusseldorf School of Photography where it's just kind of a bit more like that's it at the time it doesn't matter about making it dramatic. Um, so. Uh, yeah. Ooh, interesting. Cool. Like the like the position, like the lighting, like the subject, like the darkness of the sky. Yorkshire Sculpture Park. I think this is a very good angle that you've used. Creative and good lighting. Yeah, very good Scott Kilborn. Uh, okay, very documentary this one here. Um, it's a garage, but it's like covering grass over there. Gold Hill Garage, closed for Ebba. Um, that, that that is very much like a documentary style shot, and again, I think this would be might be good in a montage of showing the kind of the the closing down of things wherever it is. Um, so yeah, on its own, it's it's just kind of documentary. So I'd, I'd like to see, I'd like to see more of 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 that all in one photo. I think. Shot of a horse. Is this the best? Um, Chris Carpenter's photo photography, right, if you were like one photo a day, or a week, I'm not sure, just kind of a half eyeball, half neck shot of a horse, it's really going to get a huge amount of comments on it. Um, it looks like something's gone on with like either you've done some photoshopping where there's a shadow in the background here, um, or you, you've tried to kind of blur out the background or do something, or you've cam tried to calm down the contrast on the horse's head, but uh, in, it's uh, it's just a bit of a not much of a photo. Like if it's a total close up on the eyeball, and, and you can see the history and life inside its eye, and the, and the, maybe like the bugs crawling around in its eyelashes, and that'd be really cool. If you could really look at the patterning of the of the. Hold on here. If you're really looking at the patterning of the stuff like the fur in its face, uh, which is in my book somewhere. Ah, it's in my other book. Uh, well, the book that you've all bought. Um, where you really look at how kind of some of the fur has gone that way, some of the fur has gone that way, some of the fur has gone that way. Where you get really close in, and you know, it's almost like a, uh, a work on how, how hair grows on a horse. But here, there's just not really much to go with. Uh, my little guy, uh, cute shot, nice kids. Uh, lighting on him, it's a little bit dark. I see up the up the brightness, just a touch there. Uh, like just, I'm just talking like half a stop. Um, but yeah, that, that's cute. Good capture, good timing, good uh, depth of field, uh, and good focus on the kid. Uh, nice. Woo! Simon Big Simon Big, were you the one that? That's, yeah, I think you were the one did earlier. The Drifter. Great! Great shot. Again, I would almost maybe calm down the blues. Like on, on uh, 
a Lightroom, you can do a graduated filter on it and you can calm down the saturation. So you want the blues in the water, but maybe just calm down the sky a little bit. I'm not saying don't make it blue, I'm just saying not as blue as that, because that's almost so blue it's distracting me from the kind of subject here, which you've done a great slow, uh, slow shutter speed shot of. Um, so yeah, good, like it. Valley from Highway 17. Uh, now, this looks very much like a shot that somebody sent me before, where it was just like kind of blue, 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 blue. Um, but that looks very nice. Uh, great kind of time. I think it, there's a little bit too much going on at the corners. Like you've added in a vignette over there or something. It just looks totally black, unless that's the shadow or something of something. Um, Sharpness seems to be pretty high, and clarity, I think you've upped quite a bit on that one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a nice little landscape shot. The trees at the side, I would use the trees at the side to help frame everything in there. At the moment, there's just kind of a little kind of afterthought at the side there. So maybe think about what you're going to have to frame, naturally frame your image. Are you going to have trees at the side? Are you going to have rocks at the side? Are you going to have clouds at the side? Or something like that. It's sometimes nice to have a photo that's framed by something which is in the photo. Uh, Piri Pont, Pe Pier Pont Street. <sighs> I'm rubbish. Uh, okay, seems like loads of sharpening done to that, and it's kind of a, again, it's kind of a documentary style of the time and the location, showing you the people of the the street, the cars of, of the the time, the street signs of that time as well. The colours give it a bit of an old-fashioned look. It looks like you've you've kind of done something, so it's got a little bit of a magenta look to it. But I like the cropping. It's a bit of kind of a, it's kind of a 16 by 9, so it looks more kind of Hollywood film kind of look there. Um, and uh, again, I think this might be something good in a montage of of shots there. Uh, but what is this? If the subject of this photo is the street, I'm not seeing a huge amount of the street. That's what I'm saying. Either the street we're seeing the people on the street, uh, where the street leads to, uh, the lighting of the street. Here is just somebody crossing the road away in the distance. Uh, so I think there's more that can be done if you're trying to documentary, document the street. Uh, untitled Black and White. It's a shame. Why have you done Black and White? Oh, it's untitled. I'm not not reviewing that. Uh, street Outer Camera. A Crazy Mother. S-O-O-C. Uh, S-O-O-C. Son of... No, I don't know, don't know what that means. Um... Jay Griffiths Photography outside. I like, like the logo down there. I like the colours, like the um, like the exposure that you've got there as well. Uh, maybe again, this is not what I think. A slower exposure, like you've done something that maybe is like a tenth of a second here. I think if you'd done a even slower exposure uh, and you got all that water at the front of it, like smilky, then that would be that'd be good. It'd give it a good smilky look all over because it, it is very ripply. Uh, so a, a faster shutter speed, a slower shutter speed, I think would uh, add some smilkiness to that. Cool guy, massive arms, tennis racket behind him. Tennis racket is very white, um, and ready, ready for what? I I can't. Ah, okay, that's a badminton racket. It's not a tennis racket, but I can't see anybody on the other side of the. Of, I'm guessing that that is the fence, net, net, there, but I can't see anybody beyond it. I just see, so it's kind of like a person on his own. Uh, ready, ready for hitting someone. I don't know, swatting flies. Uh, so this needs a subject and an object in the image. Subject is him, an object is something in the, in the, back, in the foreground, background, whatever. Uh, so think about that. Gone, shooting up. Wow, good timing. Uh, pistol firing. C wow, that must have been one heck of a fast shutter speed um, to get that. That is interesting, very interesting. Here is a lovely portrait of a lovely girl called Stella from ICU Photos. Um, and uh, great skin, uh, great pose. Uh, we've got a, bit, a little bit of loop lighting going on uh, from the nose. I would say if the light was a little bit just a touch high, well, it doesn't matter, it's an absolutely fine portrait. It's, it's a, that's what I would call an implied topless top because she's got no kind of straps there and it just stops kind of there so you kind of think, oh, 
nick a shot. Uh, the only thing I would say is maybe try and calm down the hair that's going a little bit static out the top there. Um, but yeah, no, that's a, a very nice photo. Maybe she has a little bit too much to the side there, so I'd like to see a little bit more of her shoulder. So maybe that was, I think, a little bit too close going on. But yeah, very nice, very nice. Doesn't really look like a photo to me. Looks like a drawing. Uh, odd. Ooh! Okay, this is quite nice and documentary. Uh, old lady on a train. Yes, it is. It is an old lady, and she is on a train. Lovely. Uh, great shot. Uh, it, it's, again, this is another idea where it's capturing a scene. It's capturing a person in a location, and we can see the location. It's Nicole... Nic Nicola... Balcascu. Um... And uh, and so you're seeing the lighting, you're seeing the type of fabric that the train has. So th this is a great kind of historical shot. And the, the woman that's kind of what she's wearing as an old person on the train by herself. Uh, yeah, there's lots of things going on here. Vignetting thing, I think you've just done it a little bit too strongly uh, of the top right corner there. Um, but yeah, no, I like that. I li and I like the lighting. I like train lighting is quite dramatic. So cute. Maybe the soap's a bit too much in, in her face. Uh, and you can't really... I like the logo. I like soap, full stop. Nice. But I can't really see that that is soap. Um, it's just kind of like... It looks more like a heart and some, some like, jewellery or something. Soap? I don't get it. It doesn't... I don't... What? No. Nice exposure. Uh, woo! Super color D69 of 365. Uh, it's indeed a small world. Uh, it's a, it's indeed a small world. I don't get that. There are play, people playing basketball. Is it, it almost like a, a kind of super saturated Velvia film kind of look? Uh, it seems a little bit of an angle. Uh, is it? No, it might be straight. But to me, it kind of looks like it's a little bit kind of sloping downhill. Maybe it was sloping downhill. Uh, Okay, in this photo, I'm not really seeing what I'm meant to be seeing. I think if it's meant to be people playing basketball, I can't see that. If it's meant to be people at an event, then there doesn't seem there are many people there. If it's meant to be the location, then why am I just seeing a whole pile of green grass and then just like blowing out tops of things there? It needs something... It, this, this, I always worry about people that do the 365 day photo challenges, where they have to take a photo every single day. And... I'm, uh, I'm just not getting this one. It's indeed a small world. Nope, can't understand that. Ooh, nice photo of a inside of a shirt. It looks kind of like a very subtly done HDR. Um, St. Conan's Kirk. Um, it's, it's also kind of got this uh, kind of mm, smoky look to it. Uh, yeah, that's... That's very picturesque, is, is how I'd uh, describe that. But what I would say is that you're not straight on. The flowers, there are a little bit to the side of this bit here, and you can see that this bit's there. So just get on the tripod, just, I'm talking about like 20 centimeters that way, and it would have been perfectly spot on straight. And I don't think this is something you can fix in Photoshop uh, because you can't really change your position. You can change your angle, uh, you can, kind of change your tilt, but you can't change your position. So, damn, damn, damn. Very close. Uh, ooh, this is very cinematic. Uh, uh, Saviour. Yeah, with the smoke, the, we're seeing like sparks out the side. Um, oh, but you've totally, totally covered this in your logo. Uh, in your, in your uh, copyright. Cervinus Dometi. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's your name. Um, so, the good thing is they're not totally obvious, and they're kind of cool if it was just one of them there. But you've put them like 20 places all over the shot. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Week 19 out of 52, so this is another kind of thing. A uh, little bit of photoshopping here, I'm guessing, where you've taken two photos with a totally white background, one closer, one further away. Uh, it's quite a creative look. Um, uh, the only thing is with the person... Uh, the, the guy here, um, 
Where is he? Has he got? Is he like a person with no legs? Uh, I'd like it more if he was like if he was meant to be small. It'd be good if he was acting like a child. Like if he's crossed arm, good. Mm, I don't want to do that. Or if like there, it kind of looks like is an adult pretending to be a child going, please don't hit me, and the mother looking at the child going, I'm about to beat you. So, uh, yeah, he's kind of like, I've got a cheeky face on, and I'm about to run away, and he's like doing the disco dicks with his hands. No, uh, different positions. Lighting, concept, cool, do more. I want to see more of that. Uh, I'd like to see, like to see that a lot. Uh, cotton grass on a Sunday afternoon. You've kind of gone for the thirds there. You've got a lot of sky. You've got a little bit of flare from the side. You've got a nice saturated sky. You've got a bit of a dull green. It's really dull. It's just kind of dirty, dirty green going on there. Uh, yeah, I would enhance the greens a little bit because there, because it. it if there was something about that field that was of interest that didn't require the colour to make it pop, then that'd be fine. But the fact that you've got such a strong blue up there that you've then just got the kind of uh, blue. So, work on that. Ooh, nice one. Very nice. What's this? Snow. Yeah. Uh, I would say snow. Yes, that looks amazing. I really like that one. I love how the water is totally black as well. Um, can I just finish this video? Oh, check me out, check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Oh my god! I don't know if that was mine. Well, it's size so small. Did you not just help me with the shop and put loads of it? Did you help me with the door with it? Where's it all? Uh, and anyway, that's Kim home, so I now need to go and do the shopping, or do all the something. So that's the end of this Flickr photo critique, and the last one was three light setup uh, with by SB900, uh, cool name. I like the lighting, he looks great, I like the lighting in the background, I like how his face is well lit. Very nice shot, very dramatic, kind of a hoodie, cool. Okay, I uh, hope that's been interesting to you, and I'm, I'm sure I've got more to do, I've got to catch up on a lot. Because uh, I've been away for a while, but yeah, great work, guys. Um, really good, but definitely for any of you where where I've given you kind of negative criticism, um, then just make sure like you've only got one photo a week that you can put up here. Make sure you put in the absolute best that you think you can do. Because if other people are looking at your stuff, going, "This is the best that this person's done in a whole week," or that they want to show for the one week, make sure it's top notch. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.